Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading today to see how we can best meet the energies that this week has to bring for us and use them in ways that are delightful. Okay, so we have a nice mix of energies this week. We've got some air, some spirit, some fire, some earth. So we're working with our thinking an awful lot. We're th working with concepts and ideals. And we're also working with our passion and with grounding things in. So I want you to know that we start the week in kind of that airy mental and spiritual place, but we end it by actually taking action and doing something with what we've th thought of in the beginning of the week. So this is a week in which you want to negotiate a little bit. This means that you're going to be interacting with other people or with dynamics in your life that may or may not align with where you are. And it's important for you not to just overrule that, override that, but to actually negotiate with those things and find a place where you can work harmoniously with whoever or whatever is in your environment. This is also a week for you to stay in your higher consciousness. You want to look at things from the big picture instead of getting completely caught in the details of the moment. In the center of this week, we have the spiritual guide. And that means that you want to accept help from those on the spirit side. You want to be open to receiving messages, to receiving inspirations, to gathering wisdom that comes from outside of you and from outside of other human beings. This is a week when you're going to be initiating something new. Don't wait for other people to start this one. This is yours. This is a time where you are making a clear distinction between what you were doing and what you're doing next. You know how to do this. You know how to cross that threshold. Go ahead and get to it. By the end of the week, you've really set yourself on a course of abundance. Now, sometimes abundance means financial material abundance. Sometimes it's an abundance of emotions or experiences or energies around you or beauty or other things. Just know that the abundance is there for you at the end of the week. And so one of the things that tells me is that as you're moving into action as you go through the week, you want to make sure you're heading in a direction where the abundance that comes back to you from those actions is actually something you want. You don't want to get an abundance of something that's unpleasant or unnecessary or bogs you down in some way. You want the abundance to be something that enhances your life. So in summary for the week, pay attention to your thinking. That's a very important energy this week. Keep your mind wide open to the higher planes, the higher levels of thinking. Make sure that you negotiate your circumstances and the people that are around you this week. Don't just do it all your way. You've got to interface this week. Stay in connection with your spiritual guidance. Let yourself actually start actually move to that next level and start something new and enjoy the abundance that's flowing to you in very real forms as the week moves to an end. Have a great week and have fun playing with these energies.